What's going on guys? It's your boy S. Johnson Kicks and Reviews and we're back with another one. As you can see, we at a different location. You know, trying to pull in. So known as Orlando's Dead is Mall. Y'all already see what's going on. West Oaks Mall. Here we is, man. Got a pickup today for the Jordan 12 Stealth. Let's see how these things look, man. Just pulling in, so catch y'all in the store. And oh yeah, man. Had to step light with these, man. The people 12s. Y'all already know. Had the Western 12 today. I'm off today, so I've been wearing with the Jordan shorts. Pretty clean, man. Gotta love those FIBA 12s. Had one dude tell me, oh, I love your shoes. Gotta take care of my shoes, man. These shoes old, but well, they still holding up. It's actually a pretty good mall right here, man, but it's just amazing how this mall went down from when I was a kid. Very nice mall, not many stores in here. So I should be able to get me a better vlog. And as you can see it, man, we're in Champs in West Oaks, man. Walking up. Trying to get these Jordan 12s. Hey man, I got a pickup, man. Jordan 12s. There it goes. And as you see, man, we got the pickup. Jordan 12s. Y'all already see what's going on, man. Secure the pair. Size 13, Jordan 12. Alright, guys, and here we have it, man. Jordan 12 still. Uh, Y'all can see the colorway right there, Steph, white, cool, gray, uh, size 13, personal size, retail as we know, it's 200, and let's get into it. On this box, you would not see a uh, lot number slash production date, so you probably won't see that, and you also won't see the quality control sticker on this. So that means synthetic materials, man. Let's get into it. And as you can see, man, it is a decent pair of shoes, man. This is a cool gray colorway. You know what? I should bring out the Jordan 11s. Let's see how good the comparison is to the two, man. You know, I like to compare shoes if I can get to them. All right, give me one second. And luckily, I had the box. Not too hard to get to, man. Let's see if it's matching the color. I still haven't worn them yet, man. Beautiful shoes, man. Can't wait to wear them. Um, let's pull out one and pull it to the side so we can see if they actually are the same color. And as you can see from the cool grays, they kind of are the same color people as, as the patent leather part of it you can see right here put it next to it pretty pretty much the same thing just different materials but as i'm looking at it right now right in right next to the shoe um in person it does look exactly the same color man so we got a match jordan brand wasn't faking with this colorway you know, sometimes they be off a little bit, but as you can see, that colorway is pretty good. And as you see, I haven't worn them. Beautiful shoes, man. I can't wait to wear these, man. That's why I grabbed the shoes, because you never know when you're going to wear them or whatever. But the suede was crazy on this, or the new buck was cr crazy on this shoe, man. Lovely shoe, but let's put this up and get back to today's release. Man, getting back to these shoes, but it was good to see those Jordan 11s, man. But decent shoe, man. It's a very plain shoe. Uh, not too bad, as you can see the carbon fiber on the bottom. It's a little different. You got the gray right here for the jump, man. Gray pods. Decent shoe, man. And make sure you spray that rejuvenator water and stain repellent on this part right here, man. Because my FIBA 12s, you can barely see that I actually used them. Plus, I walk light with my shoes. So, you know, you definitely not going to see too many problems or dirtiness with my shoes. But decent shoe, man. Y'all see? 
You got the jump man. It's actually in like a light gray. It looks white on the camera, but it's actually a gray. You got the the gray right, the cool gray right here. You got the two, and then the two three. Y'all got that in the white. Was well, that the same? Yeah, it's the same color. It kind of threw me off. It kind of looks white, but it's actually gray. Uh, the toe box, you know, it looks normal. Jordan 12 ish. Uh, at least it ain't got no creases or anything in it. So it's a decent, decent colorway, man. Um, very clean. Um, if you like Jordan 12s, I would say get them because you're going to sleep on them and they're going to go up in price eventually. Not right now, but if you had an opportunity and you like 12s, I would get them if I was you. It's a not a must cop, but it is a nice shoe, man. You can see how that great contrast on the back, on the um, back tab of it. Very nice, no flaws. You know, you barely catch 12s without flaws. But when, usually when they go leather, you don't have too many flaws. When they start going new buck and all those other different materials, that's when you start getting flaws. But these are, you know, very good quality shoes, man. Actually had the box. Besides this little wrinkle right here, the box was in good condition. So I am very shocked because um, they usually don't care about them and mess them up. This, uh, this would aggravate me right here. This little tab keep laying down. But... It's not bad, man. It got the silver eyelid, eyelid um for the shoe, the shoelaces, and the inside. You got the gray insole. Let me turn the flash on so y'all can see it. You can see it inside. That gray is kind of matching this gray right here, and the gray inside the sock line is actually darker than the gray of the shoe. It's a nice little contrast to it. Um, Wish they would have had maybe some uh, gray shoe strings, kind of you know balance out the look. But the white, uh, they decent, man. I guess because you got the little white down here, so it's decent. But um, nice shoe, man. Let's do some B-roll and then I'll give you my rating for these shoes. All right, guys, so overall, I'm going to have to give my rating for the shoe. Definitely a clean colorway, man. I had the chance to get multiple pairs. All my accounts hit. But uh, I think I'm going to keep it with the one pair, man, and, and see where it goes, man. Because um, I'm going to have to sleep on it because next weekend, y'all know we got the uh, Georgetown 6s, which is going to be very nice. I got to double up on them. So I can pass on these and get one pair and, you know, call it a day. But definitely the rating would be a solid 7.8, 7.8. I can get these an 8, man. It's a solid shoe, man. You like gray. You like 12s. This is definitely a shoe for you. Um, you got the silver, silver eyelids right there, man. You definitely, this is definitely a clean shoe, man. But I wish um, these releases wasn't so close to each other because um they got the jordan ones actually coming out next tuesday i believe so um yeah the, the releases are too close for me to double up on everything so these would definitely be some keepers right here um i like that they kind of kept it with the same swag of the cool gray uh 11s so decent shoe man um don't forget to like comment and subscribe Tell me what you think of these 12s. And it's your boy, S. Johnson Kicks and Reviews. And we out.